Good morning, folks. Today we've got unbelievable cold temperatures to report, a snowy trend at the holiday, and we get a solar cycle update of the key indicators of activity. Let's begin with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding another day of utter silence, no major events, especially in the solar flare category. No sunspots and no danger of flares today. The only feature of note is departing out of view this morning, the birth of a four-Earth-tall solar tornado on the southwestern limb. Solar wind remains low intensity. The density, speed, and plasma temperature are all in normal range, with the KP dropping and beginning to bottom out. If quiet conditions remain, we are at risk of a cosmic ray health advisory, and the onset of it or lack thereof will ultimately depend on the coronal hole stream coming from these dark cores here. NOAA forecasting impact tonight or tomorrow with minor geomagnetic effects, but remember, we can't even be sure that stream is included in Earth-facing latitudes. Folks, we're starting to see daily and all-time records drop in the United States. Mount Washington's negative 89 degree wind chill is enough to give demons frostbite. And when it is too cold for Canadians to play hockey, you know we have danced straight past a line in the sand. A couple NOAA weather scientists are now saying that the multi-decade trend on snow at the holiday season is a white one. Blue areas all seeing more snow at the end of the year than they did half a century ago. Folks, we have shared dozens of models and official forecasts of coming solar cycles, but the best indicators of activity don't require any math or modeling. Here is where we stand at the end of activity for this cycle. Both sunspots and radio flux are hitting their cycle trough now. Whereas last cycle it took seven years after the peak of activity to hit this depth, it has been less than four years since we peaked this cycle. In terms of solar flaring, the X20 mega events are rare, but we expect to see about eight of the X10 solar flares per cycle. We didn't even see one in Earth-facing position this round. Up next, we go to the solar energetic particles, the radiation storms. We didn't see any level 5 events, but a few level 4 events are expected each cycle, and again, we were without any. Geomagnetic storms, we normally get dozens of KP8 events with a handful of KP9 storms as well. The cycle had no KP9 events and only a handful of KP8. No matter how you look, the sun had a pitifully weak cycle, much more than a 0.1% change in the most important and energetic activities. If we do get that cosmic ray health alert or the coronal hole stream is intense, you'll hear about it through the Disaster Prediction app. Coming up, we've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.35 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.